Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to switch things up a little bit with the floral peekaboo design. And rather than doing three decals like I normally do for a peekaboo, we're going to create a stencil so that we can really get more of that glitter underneath showing through once we put on our decals. This is a 24 ounce plump. However, for the rest of the tutorial, we will be using a 32 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia. I'm using the epoxy method. I just had some epoxy left over from working on other tumblers and you basically just need what is on your gloved hand or a milliliter of epoxy to get this nice and even spread out really thin all over your tumbler. And then I go all over and dab around so I can even that epoxy out, give it some texture to minimize any streaking underneath our glitter. Dump the glitter right on and then we're going to roll this in either parchment paper or a piece of printer paper to flatten out that glitter and eliminate excessive sanding or larger amounts of epoxy to get this tumbler smooth. I do seal all of my tumblers even if it is a single glitter so I allowed that to cure and then sealed it with Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Coat. Sealing it may not seem like it's necessary if you have one color of glitter, but I really feel like it helps minimize that friction when you are applying epoxy because your glitter is moving around, which can minimize micro bubbles and also prevent your glitter from floating up to the surface. I gave this two coats of epoxy sanding in between those layers and we were ready to create our stencil. Again, we are using a 32 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia, so I'm going to create a shape that's the exact dimensions of my tumbler, and then we're gonna hop on over to the files that I have had forever and add in these two floral clusters. Normally, I would use two of the smaller clusters for the front side of the tumbler, and then one of the larger ones to go alongside the back of the tumbler. And that works out great if you size your watercolor florals or whatever you're using on top of your peekaboos is sized perfectly to cover up all of those, let's say, bald areas that doesn't have your glitter showing through. But if you purchase the images from elsewhere, you can't control the size. And we have run into issues with covering those peekaboo places up and it kind of defeats the purpose of doing all this extra work. So we want to create a full wrap so that there's glitter peeking through all over the cup, regardless of the placement of your florals. So in order to do that, you create the shape just as we did, import whatever you want to use as your stencil. You just want to lay those out and cover up as much as that surface area as you can. And anything that goes over the left or right side, you want to make sure that you use your slice feature, only highlighting the image and the shape itself, and then move that over to the other side so that once you cut this out and wrap it around your tumbler, it will be seamless. Once you have all of your stencils in place, then you're going to want to move that background out of the way, weld all of your stencils together, put the background back in, and then highlight everything and select slice reason you have to do this and I wish Cricut would change it is you cannot use the slice feature on more than two images. You have to weld everything together and then you can slice with your shape. Cut your stencil out on a matte removable vinyl. I say matte because glossy, whenever you spray paint, can sometimes repel your paint. 
and cause it to pull around the edges of your stencils. So make sure you are using a matte, removable, or temporary vinyl. If you use permanent vinyl, you are going to be waiting this for a very long time and it is very likely going to leave some residue behind and you absolutely don't want that underneath epoxy. Put your transfer tape over top of your stencil, press it down really well, and then before you apply it to your tumbler, go ahead and lift that backing up so it's already sort of separated from that backing and it will be much easier to wrap around your tumbler. Cut off any of that excess backing so that you have the edges of your stencil exposed and can wrap that around your tumbler and be able to see the top and bottom rim. And then before you trim off the roll end, like I always do anytime I'm doing a stencil for a 32 ounce plump, make sure you do wrap it around your tumbler first so you can see which end you need to start on and trim off a little bit of that backing so you can press it down and use the hinge method to work the rest of the stencil around the tumbler. Once your stencils are on, make sure they're pressed down really well so your spray paint does not get underneath and then give it a couple very light coats of spray paint. Before we add on our decals, we're gonna give this a coat of epoxy so that it's nice and glossy underneath for the outer edge of the decals since it's clear. So I'm going to add in Epiphany from PDB Creative Studio and Filter from Colorflex to give this yellow some beautiful shimmer. Once that epoxy has dried completely, we're going to add on our decals. These florals are from one of my latest bundles at Gracefully Created, and you can get them at gracefullycreatedccd.com. They have released individually, and you can use code BBB10 to save 10% off of your Gracefully Created order. 
We're going to trim out around all of these florals and then just sort of map out where we want to place them on the tumbler. Once you know where you want to place them, then cut off a little piece of that back. Once again, use the hinge method to apply your floral decals. Make sure that you're pressing them down really well and focus a lot on those edges of the decals so they are pressed down and you can't see them once you apply your epoxy. These are printed on removable vinyl, so if you by chance have to move one of them around, pick up a corner, try to minimize the amount of times or touching them at all. So I took a back, a piece of the backing and sort of just gripped a hold of the back of the decal and very carefully lifted that up. So it goes straight onto the backing and I don't have any fingerprints on the back of the little clear portion. I did go over the top and the bottom rim and just sort of sloppy trim that instead of getting really precise with my craft knife. I'm going to go in with my vinyl trimmer tool from Kimi Page Boutique so I have a perfectly straight line all across the top and the bottom rim. Before I do that, I'm going to press the decals really well down over the edges so that there's no creases or crinkles in it while I'm trying to trim. I just used my heat gun on low heat setting and press those down as I was making my way around the rims of the tumbler. My blade does need to be replaced on my vinyl trimmer tool and I wasn't applying a tremendous amount of pressure. I was sort of afraid to cut through that thin layer of epoxy that I have between my florals and the spray paint. So I did have to go back and forth a couple of times just to get the blade to cut through the florals. But the good thing is the blade is stationary, so no matter how many times I go back, it's going to cut the same perfectly straight line. One of the hardest things for me is putting decals on a cup. Unless it's a pre-made decal, I like to layer because I feel like it really shows attention to detail and it really makes your tumbler stand out from others that just use a single color vinyl. So I always try to come up with ways to really incorporate all of the colors from the tumbler or the design into the decal as well and layer that vinyl up. 
This blue shimmer vinyl is just the Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. And the metallic green that you see in the background is Cricut brand as well as the grayish color temporary vinyl, all from Hobby Lobby. I, of course, used the main decal, which is Wonderlust font and created a 0.035 offset for that, selected the offset, and created a 0.035 offset for that as well. I couldn't get this lined up perfectly on here. My transfer tape was giving me some trouble, so I ended up placing it by hand, and then once I had it on the tumbler, I didn't like the blue at all. Well, I, I did like the blue. It just wasn't really working for me. I wanted it to look more I guess elegant you could say so i did end up taking the blue and the gray off and replacing that with the silver textured metallic from tech wrap craft over top of that metallic green and it turned out beautiful i don't know the blue was just too much and although it does look i think it looks pretty good on camera it just in person it just stood out too much and took away from the cup so once I had my new decal on, it was time for our final coats of epoxy. Of course, do not forget to wear your gloves and your respirator before you mix your part A and part B of epoxy together. If you want to learn more on the safety of epoxy, I will have my video linked down below. It is extremely important to protect yourself from the hazardous fumes of epoxy as well as your pets and your family. I really love how this tumbler turned out. These florals are really versatile. It can be used for a fallish or a bright, bright summer as well. And for fall, you can use like a burnt orange color, a deep turquoise, a hunter green. There's so many possibilities for this floral set. And I love having things on hand that I can use mostly year round on any of my tumbler designs. If you have any questions just drop them in the comments below and i'll answer them as quickly as possible as always all of my materials will be listed in the description below with some coupon codes for y'all that is all for today thank you all so much and we will see you next time